Hello and welcome to another tips and tricks video where we will walk through the edit elements feature. We'll start by exploring the commands in the align elements window, which can be extremely helpful when adjusting the positions of frames or dealing with misalignments. The align studs with main frame feature aligns elements from other layers, such as the secondary frame or vertical nailers with the main framing layer in a matter of seconds. However, if you have already set the Align with Main Frame option in your Modify Configuration settings, the frames of different layers will be initially aligned altogether. If this is not the case, you can utilize this command. And remember to always check the bottom left corner for guidance from our tool when using commands. Now, simply select the misaligned layer and it will be aligned automatically. The Align Studs with Other Element function enables you to align studs with a specified reference, such as tresses, joists, or studs from other layers or frames. For instance, I can align the studs of this frame with the joists of the floor frame. To do this, I will select floor joist as my reference and then click on the frame that I want to align, and in the result, I have my frames perfectly aligned altogether. The Align Studs with two other elements feature allows you to align studs with a reference of two different elements. For example, I have a roof frame that has two central joists with a different spacing in between compared to the rest of the joists, and I can align the wall frame with that roof frame. Using this command, I'll pick both central joists of a roof frame as a reference, and then I'll click on my wall frame. As a result, we can see that our studs now align with the roof frame. Align studs face to selected face is a versatile feature that works identically across all of our tool sets, including walls and roofs, though I'll be demonstrating it using floors in this example. This function is particularly useful for creating overlapping connections for studs or joists. To use it, simply select the face of an element as a reference and then choose the face of the framing element you wish to align. As demonstrated, the frames are aligned according to the selected faces. Align studs with faces of two other elements is a feature that enables you to select two faces of different elements as references for alignment. In this example, I'll use a custom element as a reference, which could be anything, an exceptional blocking element, a custom model, etc. Once the command is activated, I'll select two faces for reference and then any frame element within my wall. And as you can see, my frame is aligned with the custom element, maintaining the same spacing rules as previously set, except for the two studs that are aligned with selected faces. Align vertical siding with other is useful when you have connected walls that feature vertical siding. Often, at the junction of these walls, the siding may not align perfectly across both walls. This is where the Align Vertical Siding with Other becomes essential, as it allows you to align the siding seamlessly across each wall. Just simply select the siding as a reference and the siding of the wall that you want to align. And now, they are perfectly in line. It is also worth mentioning that our sample siding families have type parameters that allow you to customize the way they appear at the start and end of the wall via cut siding profile last and first rows. This can be helpful managing the alignment of siding between the walls. Another excellent feature is Align Bridging Nagging Siding, which enables you to align blocking elements with a selected reference. For instance, I have two walls that were framed using the exact same configuration, but since they have different base offsets, the blocking elements are misaligned. I'll use this command to align them. I need to select the reference and the blocking element of the frame that I want to align them. And as a result, we have our blocking elements for both walls in line. In situations where your opening is located near the end of the wall, the reverse end connection opening intersection command can be extremely helpful. Since the end stud might be deleted 
and the kings that will appear instead, because of the overlapping caused by the small distances. And this command allows the instead to stay in its position and all opening horizontal elements to be connected to it. Simply select the opening and we will see how our instead will appear instead of kingstead and all the horizontal elements will be attached to it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in upcoming videos.